Okay, so effectively, we have built magnesium in the planetary model, right, um, of an atom, showing its inner shells and its valence shell, right, and all of its electrons associated. So recall what we said. Um, that atoms are stable when what? How, when is an atom extremely stable? When its shell is filled. When its what shell is filled? Outer or valence shell is filled, right? Is, magnesium va is magnesium's valence shell filled right now? No. no. Why not? It has to have eight electrons in it, but it only has two in it, okay? So this is a common occurrence with these main group elements, right, that are not noble gases. In fact, all of them have a non-filled valence shell, except for the noble gases. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. So effectively, none of them are as stable as their noble gas neighbors. Does that make sense too? Okay. So. In order for these things to become stable, these other atoms, what they do is gain or lose electrons to make them more stable, okay? Is everybody okay with that sort of analysis? So, now we gotta look at magnesium in particular, since this is the particular problem we're doing, and ask ourselves, would it be easier for magnesium to gain six more electrons or lose two electrons? And now before you say anything, imagine that the ease of gaining an electron and the ease of losing an electron is equivalent, okay? Even though they're not, okay, inherently, but just pretend for these problems, okay? So if that, it's as easy to lose or to gain an electron, what would be easier for magnesium to do? Lose two electrons or gain six electrons? Lose two, right? Everybody knows that. So when you lose two electrons, we're going to go from magnesium to magnesium. What did we say? Plus it's two electrons lost. So this has to be magnesium what? Two plus, right? Magnesium two plus, like that. Okay. So when we do that, this diagram is no longer accurate, right? So what do we have to show? Take off those two, but also the whole valence shell. And in fact, we have a new valence shell. Okay. Is everybody okay with that idea? Okay, so now is magnesium two plus? Is magnesium without those two electrons very stable? Yes, it is. Why is it stable? Well, it's got the neon electron configuration, but even more specifically, it's got a yeah filled valence shell, right? And you're absolutely right, even though we haven't discussed that, um, you must be ahead in your homework, right? So uh, what's going on is what we'll say is that this has the same electron arrangement or configuration as the noble gas that it went to, okay? So this magnesium two plus is equivalent electronically to neon, okay? Or it has the same electronic configuration as neon. Is everybody okay with that? Everybody okay? Okay. So remember, for right now, you know that it's as easy to gain or lose an electron. So whichever one you're closer to, losing them or gaining them to that noble gas, that's what you'll do. Okay? Any more questions on this particular problem? Okay. Remember, the planetary model of an atom is not the way atoms really look. So when I see like this, I'm just like, oh man, I have to write that, but you guys know we're going to kind of change that analysis of what an atom looks like. Okay, good.